everyone, it's David here at DigiTrains. I hope you're all well. Today we've got a exciting new product in the shop we're gonna have a little look at and a little play with. It is the new TCS UWT100 Wi-Fi throttle controller. So first questions first, what is it? Well, it is a universal Wi-Fi throttle, and universal being the key word here. This throttle will work with uh, Wi-Fi equipped command stations from ESU, NCE, Digitrucks, and many other manufacturers. We've been having a bit of a play and have been really impressed with the ease of setup and the intuitive layout of the menus and the buttons. So first we're going to power up the unit by holding down any key until the screen lights up. Then we'll press button 2 to get started. The unit will then begin to search for Wi-Fi enabled command stations. Today we will be using the Wi-Fi Tracks WFD30 that is hooked up to our NCE power cap. It is super simple to connect using the network options menu, which is accessed from the main menu. The unit will then begin searching for a Wi-Fi signal from your chosen command station. Once it has found this, it will automatically join the network or prompt you for a password if your command station is password protected. So once you're happily connected to your command station, basic operation of locos is very simple. To select your loco, press the little loco button that's selected in the middle of the keypad. Enter your loco address and then hit the enter key. The address of the locomotive that you have entered will be clearly displayed in the top left hand corner of the screen. Direction is controlled using the direction key as shown. There are three options for speed control. You have the central thumb wheel, which offers fine control from speed steps 0 to 126, and the two sets of buttons either side of the speed wheel. The left set is a course of control with jumps of 10 speed steps at a time, and the right hand set of buttons offering the same fine control as the thumb wheel. To operate the lighting and sound functions on your locomotives, F0 through to F12 are accessible using the number pad and keys just below the screen. Functions beyond this are accessed using the shift key, so pressing once will give you access to functions F10 to F19, pressing it twice will give you access to functions F20 to F28. Now it's worth noting that the shift key is actually latching, which is a really nice feature because it cuts down on button presses when accessing the higher functions. In addition, all the functions that you've got activated are displayed on the screen as well, as you can see here. One of my favourite features about this controller so far is the ability to swap between two running locomotives with just the touch of one button. Once you've selected two locomotives from your recall list, you can use the swap button, which is on the top row of buttons on the left hand side, and this will allow you just simply swap between the two running locos very easily. So in this example, we are swapping between our HST and our King on our demonstration layout. Now you're also able to operate the speed of the second locomotive, so I've got the King selected as my primary locomotive and the HST as the second one, um, using the little buttons to the right hand side of the throttle wheel there. So there we go, I've slowed down the HST to zero as the King carries on. So it's very easy to operate accessories as well. You simply press the accessory button on the keypad, enter the number of the accessory that you wish to operate. We're looking at operating some points here. So whatever your point number address is, you enter that and then it gives you the option to open or throw. Now, as you'd expect with this throttle, there's lots of different options and lots of different settings you can play around with. Um, we particularly like the fact that you can customize the four buttons just below the screen here. So um, this is great for if you want to add sound functions, you can do this to those four buttons there. So if it's sort of Sound functions are in the higher ranges, say in the 20s, or lighting. Um, just to save you pressing the shift key, um, you can have those as hotkeys. So you could have, say, function 20 on button number one, and function 22 on button number two, etc. 
So there you have it, that's a, a brief overview of the TCS UWT100 Wi-Fi throttle. If you're interested in purchasing this fantastic throttle, I have put a link to it, that, which is now available in our web shop in the description below, or it's for, available for order over the phone on 01522 527 731. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again next time.